much, Haley. The storm has many granite seders stocking up. Supermarkets were crowded today, and Lowe's and Concord says items have been flying off the shelves. That's where we find WMUR's Mike Cronin. And Mike, what are people saying there? Well, Stephanie, pretty busy day here at Lowe's. People getting what they need, especially considering how long of a storm this could be. But people we talked to today say that's all part of living in New England. People. What could be the biggest snowstorm this winter has many at Lowe's and Concord getting what they need. We're uh, loading up on some pet friendly uh, ice melt. The storm, expected to start overnight Monday, could bring up to two feet of snow and high winds to parts of New Hampshire. A little snow would be good to play in, you know, but one to two feet is a little much, just as long as it's not heavy. Snow blowers, shovels, and generators are going fast. Today's uh, been real crazy. We're, uh, we're trying to get all hands on deck. And Assistant manager Mike Page says he hasn't seen anything like this so far this winter. Everything we bring down, it's been solid. Gas cans, shovels. We do have a lot of them, as you can see. We just, uh, we're just waiting for the customer flow to keep coming. In the same plaza, Market Basket was packed with customers stocking up on all the necessities. I know the storm's coming, so, you know, I figure we'll take care of some of the necessities, you know, waters and things like that. If you to have your prescriptions filled, you know, simple things like that. The New Hampshire Department of Safety is asking people to be prepared. Make sure that you're ready to be self-sustaining for those first 72 hours while emergency response crews are doing their best to get to your location if you need help. It says it'll work closely with public utility companies. Turn the heat up in your house now in case you lose power. You know, it's a concern with this type of storm. Meanwhile, people like Randy LaPron say they're ready. We're New Englanders. You know, we should be used to this kind of stuff by now, right? <laughs> Well, the New Hampshire Department of Safety will be opening its emergency operations center in Concord as the storm moves in to coordinate all state resources to respond to the storm. Also, Unitil and PSNH say they are both ready to respond if there are any outages. Live in Concord tonight, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.